remember this story at all. What? Damara. <gasps> hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to talk about notebooks. So I feel like with the rise of bullet journaling and planners and everything else, the focus on having a writer's notebook has kind of grown in importance over time. I myself have gotten several questions about my notebook. And up until this point I haven't really talked about my notebook or my system. One, because I mostly don't have a system. I got a bullet journal and then immediately wrote upside down in it the wrong way. I thought it was this way but it was this way. So I was already off to a good start. And now even though I attempted having like an index page and a future log and like habits, um, it didn't really work for me. But I am within just a few pages. I'm almost done with this notebook. I'm gonna have to get another notebook. And for the longest time, I was incapable of actually filling out a notebook. I cannot tell you how many half full notebooks I have, or to be totally honest, one or two pages full of notebooks. Because what happens is up until I came up with my current system. I just, I would say that one notebook was for one thing and then inevitably I would not need to log that one thing and then I wouldn't get into the habit of using it and then I would start another notebook for potentially something similar to what this one could have been and then it just kept going and kept going. So I want to celebrate because this is the third notebook I have completely almost filled out. I have two other notebooks that have been met with such a wondrous fate. This one and this one. They both have whales on them because they're super cute. <laughs> and I thought it would be fun while talking about my system to go through and like kind of walk down memory lane. This one was from 2017. Also a weird stick figure drawing that I accidentally turned to. I guess we'll figure out what that is in a second. And then 2018 and then this will have been part of 2019 I guess. I don't know when, when did I start this one? March 2nd of this year. So we're gonna put you on hold 2019. Go back to the wondrous time that was 2017. And the first notebook that I ever filled out in full. I think you can actually see the ridges of some of these pages that are like kind of maybe closer to falling out than others. <laughs> so let's go through this shall we? Ooh. Whew. Front and center we have my 25 by 25 list. I called it a review slash update because apparently when I wrote this Ooh, 2016, not even 2017. August 22nd, 2016. I had 326 days until I turned 25. 10 months and 22 days. I made a list of 25 things that I thought would be fun to accomplish by the time I was 25. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know how many of these I accomplished. One of them is be fluent in Spanish, which I've been trying since I was about 13 and have not succeeded at. Oh, run the Disney Princess Half Marathon, which I have done. Go to Australia, which I did. I have learn metallurgy slash welding. Moving on, I had a lot of goals and habit tracking. Oh, thinking about things that I've been wanting to achieve for a while now. Under my health section, I have be able to do one unassisted pull-up. Still on my list for this year too. <laughs> this is not as, um, uh, uh, you know, inspiring as I'd hoped it would be. My plan to write as my career. Oh my gosh, I made a submission tracker that I never actually filled all the way out. I did do a lot of this stuff on the computer though, but. Next five years, AKA the dream. <laughs> Realistic steps to make this dream possible. I love writing down goals. And it's one of the things that I still almost always handwrite and then transfer to the computer as opposed to the other way around. Oh, finished draft 2.5 of superheroes. That was a story that I put on hold. I have a multi-potentialite exercise where I listed all of my interests. I had a lot of them. So this is the thing about my notebook system is that I really use it as things that I wanna take notes for, I guess. Often that's my goals and often that's my stories. Sometimes it's my YouTube videos. Sometimes it's my upcoming schedule. It's even something as simple as a list of things I need to do today. Call eye doctor. <laughs> a pseudo filming schedule when I thought I could stick to a schedule. And then I even had, like you'll see, this is the actual writing for my superhero story at the time. I was redrafting it. And so I have, oh, I called someone a douche nozzle McFuck face. So, you know, off to a great start. I love that even though I can see how my writing's changed over the years, I still did things 
like leaving blanks for certain names. <laughs> To revisit this story. That's what this notebook is teaching me. Ooh, social media expectations. I drew a calendar out. It's really interesting to look back at past me and see what I've just accepted about myself now because present me has accepted that I'm just bad at social media and that even all my attempts to make a calendar for myself and force myself to stick to a schedule and post regularly and often, it just doesn't work. I know that now and it's fine, but obviously like I had to go through all of this in order to figure that out now and have made peace with it. Booktube YouTube notes. Oh my gosh, I took notes before I joined. Haul, wrap up, TBRs, etc. Doesn't have to be all reviews. Guess who's done almost none of those things. <laughs> wow. I had video ideas that I wanted to film with my brother. Oh, with both of my brothers, which is so funny because obviously none of these ended up happening, but I have filmed videos with them since. Oh. I did put something about non-readers for the Pudge, and for those of y'all who have watched this channel, you know that Robert the Pudge, the Nugget, other nicknames, etc., doesn't read, and so I have him guess what books are about. That's always fun. David, I had several ones that were more like talking about Story Central because he also writes more schedules that I didn't do. Oh, the stick figure was for a video I did called The Body of a Writer. Better title in notes. <laughs> Our hands are the true heroes. So true. Oh my gosh. Character killer was the heart. That's so funny. I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch that skit. Oh my gosh. Pirates plotting. Oh, 20 words or less plot summary. Okay. I wonder how much has changed. After being framed for the death of the prince, a girl must elude her pirate captors to save her home. Interesting. Captured outline. Oh my gosh. So I was calling Project Purple captured because to be fair, Jenny and Augustine do get captured. They get taken, they get kidnapped. I called it captured and I had an outline. I thought it was gonna be 27 chapters. Oh my gosh. Wait, who's this character? Main character's point of view, Cass. Who the F is Cass? I'm talking about rebels here. I don't remember this story at all. What? Damara. <gasps> I remember this story now. Niobe, Solo. I remember this story now. Oh my God. I forgot how much of this I, I forgot it existed. <laughs> I forgot if how much of this I'd plotted out. Look at all the chapters. Have I written this somewhere? Day 26, chapter 31. I cannot believe. Oh, I have a poem I wrote. That's fascinating. And then a story that I don't recognize at all. Esther and Jeremy, who are you characters? Oh my God. Rain poured down from the sky, thunder clapped overhead, and Esther watched as the semi-truck barreled down the road and skidded across the lanes, crashing into the small Nissan truck that 18-year-old Jeremy Rivers was driving, causing his death immediately upon impact. Oh, I do remember this story now. <gasps> I still like this story too. Holy shit, I have so many stories. Wow, wow, okay. <laughs> you thought I had a lot of stories. I thought I had a lot of stories and I forgot so many of the stories. Wow, I wrote several pages of that. Like that's a thick chunk. Holy, what the, what? Uh, that's first one with Cass, the rebel that I forgot. I wrote a chapter of for Camp NaNoWriMo. Did more than outlining it, I actually wrote it. And then the final page, which skips a whole chunk of time because I went from like Camp NaNoWriMo. This is actually a note I made for my sci-fi characters that I abandoned because I was terrible at sci-fi, but I actually remember that one better. That's, what? What? Two story ideas in this notebook that I'd completely forgotten I had and I'd done work on, not just had, not just like a little bit of a note. No, I'd fleshed this out and now that I'm remembering them, what? What? Okay, I'm gonna come back to you if I have any more realizations in this notebook. And then I'm gonna talk about my system that's not a system because I'm just in shock right now. <laughs> okay, so I just finished reading this notebook. There were no shockers, but what surprised me is that um, my Scooby-Doo Meets Princess Bride story, I wrote significant amounts of it when I was in Tokyo. I had a lot of notes for like my transportation to and from Tokyo when I was exploring there and visiting my friend. I had a whole list of things to do and see. And so during that time, I wrote out just whole chunks. You can see I used it so much like this page 
is falling out. <laughs> my hand did not have a problem then like my hand has now. So it's more like if I got the story idea up here, I need to get it down and I think that goes over everything else. I also remember walking through parks when I was in Tokyo and like writing in the gardens. Oh my gosh. Not only do these notebooks contain a lot of my thoughts at the time, but it comes with it just floods of memories. It's so cool. So really I have travel notes, diary-like entries, portions of stories that I'm still writing now written in here, and then obviously some I've um, accidentally forgotten about. <laughs> Whoops! And really, the same holds true for my notebook now. It serves as a medley of the things that I'm interested in. My travel notes, my notes for my Cooking with Classics series, my YouTube notes, actual writing that I have done. It has schedules that I still am unable to follow but I have to write down so that I can just visualize what I'm thinking up. It has reread notes, what I thought of my story as I was rereading them. It's just cool. And I've actually kept in this one stuff like this for its tickets or like a bubble tea menu to a place when I visited Vancouver. Now that I'm capable of filling out these notebooks, I can't wait for, you know, a decade down the line when my books are out and I'm actually getting to revisit the very first thoughts I had about these stories or you know the times that I got that really cool video idea that I still really love and yeah just how cool. Anyways <laughs> this was just a mess of thoughts but I so enjoyed getting to go back over these and please do I guess this is like less of a question and more of an exercise but please do check it out for yourself see what your old notebooks contain let me see if I have any of those half notebooks. This one was me attempting to plan for trips and how far did I get? Oh 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 they're still writing still writing i'm surprised oh and there's no more writing okay so i wrote in this much and then this much is empty let's see about some other ones what about you i like this color and then oh look nothing else is written in it this one that says in the midst of our lives we must find the magic that makes our souls soar an ex-boyfriend bought it for me oh 25 by 25 ideas this one got moved into that one eventually but really you can see not a whole lot written in it. This was more of a diary entry. Had the last Wuhan call first thing this morning. Very exciting stuff. I do have a story idea in the very back here. I'd also forgotten about that, but again, nothing in this middle part. Anyways, what I have done in the past is just yanked out all the pages that are my notes. And so I have notebooks from when I was like, sixth grade, seventh grade, all the way up till now where I've just ripped out the pages and I've put them in like a folder. So sometimes, usually when I'm moving, I do go back over those notes just to like reminisce, but I'm excited in the future. Now I can put these filled out ones on a bookshelf. And something about that feels like progress. <laughs> Please do comment down below. Let me know what you use your notebooks for. Do you have some that are specifically assigned for one purpose? And are you capable of filling those out when you do that? Unlike me. <laughs> and let me know if you've ever stumbled across notes you wrote yourself for stories or actual like drafts you've written before that you've completely forgotten and then you're like oh yeah and maybe have you ever returned to those again because now that I'm thinking about those stories I kind of think in the future I would totally return to those again. But that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all very soon with the new video. Bye! After being framed for the death of the prince a girl must what? The spiral, it's a basic